Pyra Mithra. I listen. I, I, I like Mithra over Pyra any Mithra day. is any, better. Every day of the week. Yeah, Mithra is definitely the better character for sure. Although Pyra, sometimes you just get an edge guard and you're like, Ugh. yeah, Pyra is <laughs> all about that advanced state. Yep. But Mithra, this is what you mainly want to use. Mithra gets the you. Mithra gets you to the advantage state, and Pyra closes the advantage state. Exactly. You know? This is the main cheese right here. Down tilt, up air, tried and true Mithra combo. You mainly just want to get those hits in, push them all the way to the corner where you can just start ledge trapping. As you can see, Madasi was just trying to trash that new, neutral get up Ooh. with the up airs and everything, but. They are just so much in control right now. Yeah. Uh, Andrew G has definitely not gotten very much time to get into this set right now. But um, I'm assuming that he probably didn't get to play a lot, uh, considering he was coming from Ohio. <laughs> All right, very scary situation at the ledge here. That's not going to – oh, I thought that wasn't going to – I was just about to you call it saying? out. You I was saying? I was saying <laughs> that I'm bad at – I'm bad – oh! I'm bad at deciphering when moves are going to kill when it's really close. Is there like, man, that was really – oh. No, mind, that, that, that definitely fooled me. But hold on, Zarin to up smash. All right, Andrew T. Kokotoko right now, it, getting that air dodge as well. He's definitely uh, settling into this first. Oh, sure, the trap on the Whoa. air dodge. All right, Andrew T. was kind of getting rocked just a little bit. But right now, they're looking so comfortable right I now. I have never seen somebody catch a, catch a landing with down smash from ZSS. That is insane stuff Listen, there from Andrew that, T. That is what I call confidence. That's what you got to have going yep, forward. Yep, this that is, is what champions are made sure. at. If you're at this point in the bracket, which is finished round two, which is really hard to get to, if you're at this point in the bracket, you need confidence because there's hitters out here. Yeah, and Madasi is able to just pick up bits and pieces, those crumbs off of Foresight. They are able to get those extensions, but it's not a whole, whole lot because they have a whole lot of room to catch up right now. And you yep. can see them just trying to aggressively take that sock. Andrew T didn't get that parry on the shield, and that up smash from Madasi is currently rocking him, but the Pyra is still staying yeah. out. He's staying the Pyra. I respect it. You know, I think a lot of players would uh, stick to Mithra in this situation. I'm definitely one of those. He's definitely, he's definitely a Pyra user. You know, somebody, somebody always has a preference. His preference looks like Pyra so far. No, I understand completely what you're saying because before I used to be like a Pyra just player over the Mithra. But as you go on with this character, as you learn, like you just realize that one of them's just better in the matchups as yeah, in like the others. That's true. It could be a matchup specific thing. But now we're in the Mithra. We're at the low percents where Mithra likes to cook. And uh, cook she will, hopefully. Yeah, the Pyro was playing real smart there. Just not really throwing out too, too many options. Playing real safe where they're able to close out that stock. And right now, it's up, up to Madasi to kind of just even up this gap right now and hold up all aboard the Myth and Air Juggle. But Andrew T coming out with that, the field kicks. You always know. That is not what you like to see as an Ohio fan. Like when <laughs> Andrew T is trying to close out a stock. Oh. A, a down hair from Z ZSS. Definitely okay. not a good look. But uh, Mada Madas, Mad ah, you say it. <laughs> I can't. Yeah. Uh, he's starting to cook. Um. Oh yeah, that's dude, a you know. So you see scary. that? You ever, Both you players see that are so game. nervous, and that's gonna do it. Yeah, you have so much hit stun off of that down air to kind of just convert into that down air. Yeah. But whenever you see that up B from Pyra, that's that universal sign to do not interact. I am I'm up being here. If you come close, you will die. <laughs> your your stocks will get yeeted. <laughs> but but uh, yeah, I felt like Andrew T was playing that insanely well. He got that one. Uh, down smash read that I will talk about with my friends for the next week because it was insane. It was insane. It was, it was so pretty insane. cool. That was quite the sequence. And then he couldn't close out the final stock and they let Medasti back in. Yeah, Pyro is kind of like Tarzan. It, it's that fear factor that just gets to you and eventually you fall victim to it. But Andrew 2 is definitely just going to come off, shake it off. Mithra can come in, do all the chip damage you want, but once ZSS gets that opening, yep. What's it's the, right back to you. Ooh, ZSS is a and, and he prevents Mithra from getting a lot of those, like, not true combos, but, like, basically, like, good follow ups for Mithra at low percent with that down B. It's so good. It might it be one of the. really good. If there's an ooh, trying to foresight? What ooh. you doing? He tried uh -oh. to get he tried to get fancy with it, though, by doing the uh, short hop. Wow! He tried to get fancy with the short hop. Uh, up there into um, up B. He missed it and he died because of it. That was so unfortunate. Yeah. Oh my god. And not getting the spike hit of heel kick as well. All right. Converting it to paralyzing into the up smash. The spacing there? You see the spacing there? It is quite immaculate. And I can see Andrew T is 
kind of keeping that air dodge in the back of his mind right now, but not catching him, dropping the shield, Madasi taking it up. I'm definitely butchering this tag so, so wrong. All right. <laughs> Love that Mr. Advantage State doing in the work, but this is going to be a clean stock for Angie T here. Yep. Sometimes you just get buried by the down bay, and it's just such an awful feeling. <laughs> I would say you gotta watch out for your overextension, but he'll kick Some, that, that move so, was cheating! Dude, sometimes <laughs> you're like, I outspaced the move, and it still won. Oh! <laughs> All right! That was just good space in there for Andrew T. And uh, Medasti just DI's in, which is, which means that uh, he was able to get the uh, flip kick after the nair. Now Great this, tech. This is where it gets kind of dicey as Pyro, right? Another Ooh, one! Just a big body and is getting one. sent right back down to the basso. Andrew oh T my God. said game one was a fluke, dog. It was a fluke. I'll was give you that one on the house. I'll give you okay. one on the house. He's repping Ohio. He doesn't want to go out like that. He's got, they got Ohio in chat. Rep in, okay. Ohio, I see you, Ohio. I see you, boys. I see yep. you, fellas. They're here. Maybe they're not here. I don't know. I can't see the chat right now. Maybe they're not but here. But now you can see why Pyra, I, I, I'd be very skeptical to go Pyra because Joker. Pyra is such a kind of slow, kind of big body. Whoa. Hey, I, hey, you haven't seen hey. the Vadasi Joker? No, I haven't. This is why I, this is why I was going to say Joker at first, but then he picked Mithra Pyra. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, I, I was like, okay. you were just about to go on a long ass tangent about Pyra versus Mithra. Well, let's talk about Pyra, Mithra versus Joker. One, two, two of the best characters in the game on their own. But when you have to adjust against the two matchups, it could be a little different. Yeah, especially just throwing in Joker are set into the mix as well. But Andrew T is definitely no stranger to this matchup. You just got to play real safe, play real defensive, get those pokes. As you can know, Joker really wants to be aggressive, much like with that downer to the up smash. Uh, and, the, and aggressive he is. Uh-huh. I mean, did you see that? That was like both players oh. just trying to punish each other right in each other's faces. Wow. Okay, almost reads it as well, but excess with an up air. Up and not gonna quite do it unfortunately. Yeah. That move when you when you're not killing off the side, like on the like on the ledge, it it goes nowhere. It's actually sad. It is very, very sad. Now this this is the thing I also find sad. Fighting Joker, right? Joker wants to play so defensively. You're like, uh -huh. insert Joker rush down me. But when Joker plays with gun and the side B, it's so good because he builds up that meter to our set. But as we know, when you go down that stock, that meter goes all the way down. Yep. And, and that builds uh, up the time for Andrew it, T to kind of just build up that damage. He was very close to our send there. So Ooh. that's a huge momentum swing here for Andrew T. Uh, but he's going to get it right back again because this character cheats. <laughs> this character do be cheating. He do be cheating. He just be, gra he just be grabbing like extra, uh, like a power buff. Why does it Toon oh, Link? Oh, what you air dodge into up before, son? Why doesn't a character like Toon Link or like, you know, Ink Hold Link up. get like a random power buff in the middle of the match, you know? I don't, yeah, I, I mean, like, they, they have the stats in Splatoon, right? Yeah, I don't get it. Why can't I get some, some stats? I, I, it just doesn't make sense to me, you know? But what does make sense to me is this. Game three is very close. This game three is deadly close right it, now. It's dead even. Both players want it bad. They want it. They want it so bad, which could be a which could be a good thing and a bad thing because the more you want it, the more yeah. nervous you get. That last situation was pretty rough for Andrew T, and we can see that Arsene is going slowly, slowly off the corner. Bro, smash but four. <laughs> gives that air dodge to Andrew T. That might be courage for the game, but when you play against Arsene, right? You have to play the pretty close quarters. You think, he's, oh, I got that comeback. He's so mechanic. aggressive, yes. Yeah. There are two, there are two uh, theories to how you play Arsene. You can play the aggressive type, which Andrew T did right there, where you don't let him get moves out. You keep him in the corner, and you punish him. Or you exactly. can play the late.